Thought my uh, audio was on the entire time. Welcome back to MLB 15, the show. Fuck my life. The Red Sox lost 2 0 in real life today. Eduardo Rodriguez, 5 and a third innings, 9 strikeouts, only let up a run. Yeah. Um, the Red Sox only had three hits in the game, one by Brock Holt, who pinch hit for Josh Rutledge, the guy who's coming up to bat right now. Uh, three hits in the game. The Sox have now only scored two runs in the last 22 innings. So two runs in the last 22 innings for the Red Sox. Only three hits in the game. The guy on the mound, Kevin Gossman here, pitched really well against him. And the whole Baltimore team shut him out. What up, B? What's happening? So I just got off the phone with Dara, the BO director. Yep. And there's six line directors. Six line directors at Fox River? Yep. 42 reps total, six line directors. Well, how many TOs? No TOs. There, there is no COs. Huh. It's just line, line directors and reps. There's like seven per, uh, seven per whatever. So how do they divvy up the reps? Did all six line directors get to pick? I don't know. I should have asked that. Uh, I should have asked her that. I didn't ask her, but, uh, well, yeah, there's definitely six line directors. Well, don't forget, Fox River. Fox River is a bigger resort than we are. Yeah, but they. They're, she's talking about forty-two reps, so you know. Which exactly? Which that's what, that's what we're gonna have. You know, think about it. We cut. We cut ten from our line that brings us down to thirty, and then ten in-house reps makes forty. You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. Like, no, I don't think the way Carcetti was talking to me, or the way he's been told. We need to be at 35 total. I think they're going to cut some in-house and some out-house. All the crap from out-house, all the crap from in-house, and take the best of the best. The best 35 or whatever it's going to be. So maybe there'll be five. Five line directors. Yeah. Seven on each. That's definitely bring up the odds, though, you know, from three to five. No, but I'm telling you, I don't think it's going to be that many here. No, because don't forget, Fox River has the, they need to make money there to support what's going on. So the deal is, there's a water park there, there's all that crap over there, and if they don't, they're not going to, they're not going to try, they're not going to be able to recoup with little little reps, you know what I mean? So they have to pump, pump as many tours as they can in there to offset anything. Whereas with us, we're by ourselves, and 
We're we're a very small. We're now the smallest resort in the company. When Galveston shut down, Outhouse, we're the smallest resort in the company. I guarantee you, at the most, four line directors at the most, and thirty-five. Yeah, I could be wrong, but if I had a bet, from what I was told. At the most four, most likely three, but three wouldn't make any sense with 35 reps. So, so then, let's assume there's 35. Let's assume you're right. It's seven per line director. Then you're talking five. That would make sense. Oh fuck! I just gave up a three-run homer. I mean, the more the better. I hope for, for my chances, you know. Yeah. Well, obviously, I mean, I hope, I hope you're right, too, because then the odds go up for all of us. But the problem here is, how do we get to 35? Well, that's the problem. Because then the odds go up for all of us. But the problem here is, how do you determine who gets what? Is it a draft? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, because, you know, if they just, if they just divvy it up, blah, 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 then who gets Selman? You know what I mean? Who gets Patrick? Who gets Pinozo? So, I mean, we'll see. When did Dara tell you? When did they decide upon all of that? I don't know. I just talked to Dara today. So what? What are they doing this week? Nothing, right? The resort shut down. You should have. What the fuck's wrong with you? These are these are genius. These are these are important questions and shit. No, I know. I'll call her back tomorrow. I didn't want to seem like I was just calling her to be like, yo, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, I didn't want to seem like I was just calling her to Wait, she's over VO and the VC department? VO, VC, contracts, front desk, and gifting. Everything. So, either Tammy or Wendy's getting fired. Tammy or Wendy's done. No, I don't think so. I, I think... No, listen, I think Joy got fired because she's Joy. I think I think that there is no more VO director at all. Tammy's getting everything, and Wendy's just going to be a re regular verification officer. The fuck is that noise? Wendy's going to be a VO? No, Wendy's going to be a regular VO, and Tammy's going to be in charge of everything. Wow. That, that's, my, that's my guess. Well, that's what happens. As soon as you call, I'm down five to fucking nothing. In the first inning. The fuck is that noise? I'm in the, I'm in the touch free car wash. Fucking gay touch free car wash. Here's the deal. I'm down five nothing. Okay? I'm getting your shit kicked out of me. Finally, I got out of the inning. Five. Yep, five nothing, see. And I gave up a million runs here in the first inning. The good news is it's the first inning. The bad news is it's still five to nothing. So Ortiz is up now. Um, rough, rough goings here. I committed an error, gave up a three-run homer. Everybody sucks. Oh, I'm so negative. You got what? That's what happens when you got bucket duty. Yeah. All right, I'll talk to Derek tomorrow.
tomorrow and I'll call you again and let you know. All right, man. Well, uh, that's what happens when you talk to your boy on the phone out of nowhere. Uh, you'd go down five to fucking nothing here in the second inning. This is not good news. Ugh, this whole game has been a debacle since the beginning. I had a great pregame introduction before it, turned, it segued into the beginning of the game. Uh, I found out the volume was off when Mookie Betts was up. Mookie Betts grounds out. He has a 52-game hitting streak on the line. And then all of a sudden, you know, it, my pitcher and defense decided it would be a good idea to just go down by five early on here. Eduardo Rodriguez had a 2.0-something ERA coming into the game. That's ballooned, ballooned up to God knows what, probably close to three, if I had to guess. Um, not good. He was in the top five easily in ERA, I believe, five or seven. And now he's uh, he's up Schitt's Creek here. And I'm down five runs against a guy who I should be able to shell, but for some reason I keep flying out. There we go. There's a double play for Sandoval. It's what he's good at, that fat piece of shit. Pitch right down the fucking middle he could have turned on, and he hits three. Tomahawks it to a double play. Awful. Awful. Eduardo Rodriguez, 31 pitches in that first inning. The max he can go is four innings now. Batted around, I believe, in the first inning. Yep, they had it. Wrong pitch. Got oh, lucky there. So, yeah, what a rough day. Red Sox losing real life. Um, my introduction to the game is screwed up. My boy calls me with crazy news. And uh, I already I go down five nothing early. Not not good. This time of year is actually an important time for these young players. Time to find out what they can do. Maybe address rehearsal for next year. That's a good at bat there. Blake Swift. You know it's lost in this fifty two game inning streak. Um, my bets here in this game is Swyard is a 27 gamer right now. And Kiermeyer the Rays is a 28 gamer, I believe. After he extended it last yesterday against me. 
Got a hit in all three games. Way late. And this is heading for the seats and out of play to the left. He waits. Now the pitch. Opposite field to left. He's afraid of that. He hit it too hard. He puts it away. No problem. Hit it too hard, man. That was big. That was big. That should score him. Oh, don't don't send him. Don't send him. Don't send him. Thank God. Thank the Lord. I'm safe. All right, Betts, let's go, man. Good news is I'm not shut out. I'm only down four. Fuck. All right, at least it wasn't a double play. All right, Rutledge, come on, man. Base hit. Base hit. Hit a gapper, that'd be great. We'll have to work our way as best we can. Way early. God, am I way early. It's so way early on the fucking bets, chopper. Damn it. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. 
when you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. When that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. Hammered the other way to deep right field. But this will be off that big scoreboard down there. Hardy rounds first on his way to second now. And he's two for two as he's in there with a double. Caleb Joseph will get an opportunity here in the run scoring spot now following the two out double. Uh, this one is smoked the other way to left center. Should be good for at least two. He will score and the O's add another to their lead. It's this is terrible, man. He just, just doesn't have it. He just doesn't have it. This is his last inning if he can get out of this. I think guys have just gone up there looking for it. Usually they wind up getting it. Catch this, please, God. All right. Is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Xander Bogarts will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. All right, so here's the drill. Lang, 21, Ross, 21, Breslow, 21, Barnes, 28 and a third, Hembry, 20. So we're going to warm up Hembry. That's what we're going to do. The pitch. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Terrible. Freaking terrible. Quick one pitch out to begin the fourth. Yep, another good job right there to get that first out. And you can pretty much bet he's probably thinking to himself, anytime my boys get me six runs of support, I think we're going to be okay. This is a pretty tough ball to climb out of now. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And here's the still dangerous left-handed bat of David Ortiz. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. <laughs> Oh, and they're chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. This could... Come on. Goes the other way. Uh, the left. It's hoping for a home run, but hopefully a double will happen out of this. Yeah. He'll hit a double. Fine. Be worse. Could be an out. Pitch right down the fucking middle. Where was it? I didn't even see it. Yeah, I was right there. All right. First one. Horrible, horrible, horrible. This whole fucking situation. So angry, man. I am so fucking angry. Sandoval takes nine years to get in the fucking batter's box. It's like, Jesus Christ, get in the fucking box. Oh, now he's going to get thrown out because he's too fat. Unreal. He hits a bullet off the pitcher, and because he's too fat, he gets thrown out. Fuck. Here, though, I 
expect even he couldn't have predicted he'd be taking over in just the fourth inning. All right, I need a clean inning out of you, man. Really? Too high, huh? The catcher didn't even catch the ball. What are we doing? But a foul ball, one and one. Here's the one one pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And Sandoval will put this one away for round number one. And these two teams right back at it tomorrow night. We'll have coverage of game two of the series in high definition on the show. As you get a look there at the two starters scheduled to oppose one another. Manny Machado will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. Machado now on 0-1. Right back with another fastball. It's 0-2 now. That's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. That's plenty hard enough to blow up by guys when you need to. Ready with another 0-2. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Another 0-2 home. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But uh, this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. That misses one and two. A classic strikeout pitch there on 0 and 2. It's what he loves going to. Great recognition there at the plate to lay off. Adam Jones will step in. He's lined out and grounded out in two trips. Oh, really? I can't bounce off my guy? Come on. Is a joke. This might be my worst loss as far as run differential goes of the year right now. If this keeps this keeps happening. Alright, catch this. Come on, catch this. I don't believe this. This is unreal, man. Unreal. So a three-run shot to left center is second of the game as they've widened this lead to eight now. And he looks at a ball one and two. That look says it all in the third base dugout. That's not the look of a guy who's going to be sleeping well tonight, is it? Now another one-two. One-two pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. Unbelievable. What a t what. All right, the goal here now in this game is to at least have Betts extend his inning streak along with Swihart. That's all I got. That's all I got. Make it as respectable as I can. And um, have them extend their hitting streaks. If I can't even do that, then. I'm about to break my PlayStation 4 right now. That's how angry fucking I am. Come on, come on, come on. Go to the next fucking pitch. What are you, a fucking GQ model? Let's go. Weeders awaits the 1-1. One, one. And he comes back with a fastball. 1-2 and two now. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect Shipping strike three. And a good take there. Close, but it's 2-2. Two and two. Now a swing and a jump. Here we go. Foul it off. Foul, foul, foul. Another try at 2 2. And he goes the other way as this is in high and deep out to straightaway left. This is a joke. This is a joke. A joke. That throw by Betts was a joke. This whole fucking game is a joke. I don't care. This guy can fucking give up 17 runs. I don't give a fuck. It's a fucking asshole. He's, he's on the mound fucking strutting his shit like he's on the fucking runway. The fuck out of this inning. Piece of shit, Hembry, you fag. What a fag. Castillo will make his way towards the 
Box to lead off the fifth. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss on the Of course. This fucking jackass on the mound. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, well, here's the drill. So he's, that's not, so that was relevant. This guy's relevant. So we got a third of an inning, people. So where are the, th here's a third of an inning guy. Oh, no. He can't pitch him yet. He hasn't pitched yet. So let's warm him up and let's warm you up. On Swihart. Stepping in now, Blake Swift. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable, man. Jackie Bradley Jr. will stand in an RBI single in his first appearance. First pitch coming. Foul back. One run, five hits, and one error on the Boston line score. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. Oh no oh, shit. Pitch on the way. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Oh Another 0-2 oh coming. Plate is his chop foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. The next 0-2. Swing and a miss on a ball in the dirt as they'll need to throw down to first. And the throw is in time as the strike out of the play. It's a joke. This whole fucking game is a joke. Is joke. No runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. Last half of the fifth coming up is the Orioles 10 and the Red Sox 1. All right, he's throwing Barnes. Yeah, I'm down 10 to 1 in the bottom of the fifth. I think I'm fucked. I don't think there is keeping anything anywhere in the game now. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the... Because Eduardo Rodriguez is a, sh is a jackass, and fucking Hembree's even more of a jackass. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, come on, Bradley! Come on! What the fuck are we doing today? What are we doing? No one out with a runner at second. He's ready now. The pitch set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. He's ready now. The pitch and there's ball two now from the stretch and a strike. Throw him a breaking ball that time. Two and two. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you're thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. The guys will catch on quick. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, this is kind of a tough trade-off here in that lead-off spot. For the most part, he's been a pretty productive hitter at the top of the lineup, but the strikeouts just keep mounting up. And I don't care if you have lead-off type speed. If you're not putting the ball in play, you're not getting no base. Here's Manny Machado now as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Look behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Comes 
come set, now the pitch. Sharply hit towards the hole, and it's going to get through a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Adam Jones will dig in. He singled and later scored his last time. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Now a swing and a ground ball, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Ball and two strikes now to the 2014 All-Star. From the belt, the pitch. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Runners leap from first and third. Here's the pitch. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. The 2-2 two -two coming. And he misses. Oh, my ball. God. Please, come on. E.K., where are you going now on three and two? Unreal, man. Oh, this is so horrible. This is such a joke. Wow. Wow. We're almost to the 42 minute mark in the fifth inning. On the outside corner for strike one. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. Weeders awaits the 0 1. Oh, and a good tight slider there. He's in command, nothing in two. Uh, he's still got to make one more big pitch, but this is a great start with the bases loaded. He waits, now the pitch, and he misses there, one and two. Maybe a good opportunity here to and hold that thought as that's a strikeout for route number three until the inning will come to an end. Orioles settle for one. Five innings complete. It's the Orioles 11 and the Red Sox one. Mookie Betts. Stand in the lead things off as the top of this bench. All right, Betts, let's go. You, this is pretty much it. You maybe have one more at bat after this. You need to get a single here. And you got to figure you're not going to win too many games when that's the case. 52 games in a row. This game has been a debacle. Let's go, man. At least get on base with a single here or a double or whatever. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it towards the backstop. Now here's the pitch. Yes, thank the Lord. 53 in a row. Thank God. Ah, oh, I don't care about the rest of this game now. At least he extended the streak. Shoots 
Josh Rutledge will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him. All right, Rutledge, you suck. I think I'm pitching in Brock Holt for you right now. That's what I'm going to do. So, first we're going to go to the bullpen. Okay. And Tozawa, or Tamachi, two-thirds of an inning there. I thought, I thought there was two-thirds of an inning somewhere. Is it just Machi? Two-thirds of an inning. Yeah, two-thirds of an inning. So we're going to warm you up. Then we're going to go to... Oh, too late. First pitch coming. Right down the fucking middle. Substitutions. What the fuck was that? That's going to fall, thank God. And with that, he'll stretch that hit streak as he's now hit in eight straight games. Sandra Bogarts will stand in now with two on here and nobody out to begin the inning. And on the mound, he hasn't found himself in too many rough spots so far, so this might be his first real test of the ball game. I don't know what the hell that was, but I got lucky there. All right, Ortiz, come on, man. It's time to fucking hit a home run for four ninety nine. It's time to do it. That would get me down seven. Instead, it's a line drive single. I was late on it, but I'll take it. It's eleven to two. Well, this guy's been the heart and soul of this ball club for a long time now. He delivers for him again. Picks up the RBI on the base hit here. Travis Shaw will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. And the throw will go to second as they get to fourth down. But wisely, no thought of a return. They're having middle infield problems over there. Pablo Sandoval will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. Now, as he 
On you fat fuck, let's go. And here's the first pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Here it comes. Off the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. Now the pitch. And he pumps the fastball by and here, one and two now. Two with one away. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Right over the top here. If it wasn't for that ridiculous five run inning that Henry gave up, or, or four run inning that Henry gave up, I'd actually have a shot at coming back. It'd be six to three now in the sixth. I'd have a shot. But unfortunately, because Heath Henry's a piece of shit and fucking can't work multiple days. Because he's a fucking asshole. He gives up a three-run fucking homer to Chris Davis, his second of the game, and in singles and blah, 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 blue. It's a fucking joke. here on the show. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Joke. Blake Swift will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. All right, now i got to warm up people again. So, got even, 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 and even. Um... So let's just go. Let's warm this guy up. Here's the first offering. This is hit high in the air and pretty deep down the left field line. And he will run this one down. Awesome. That's why Art's fucked. This hitting streak's done. Jackie Bradley Jr. will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Now here's the first pitch. And that pitch is lined into left field, and he's got his second hit of the evening. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And now another base runner for him to contend with now. And as we bring up his line, you can see that's an even 10 hits against him so far. And you have to wonder how much longer they're going to let him stay out there. Mookie Betts. We'll get another crack, one for three thus far. Those guys, a thousand pitches he can throw. Don't run, please. Here's 
Brock Holt now. And she'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. But oh, get him for the second out. But meanwhile, the run is in to score from third. This late in the game, no sense in taking a chance trying to cut down that guy at the plate. So they'll be pretty happy just to trade the run for the out. Xander Bogarts will look to try and get that second run of the inning across as he'll have a runner at third now with two away. First pitch on the way. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw on the Davis takes care of awesome. that will end the inning. A run, two hits in the inning for Boston. Get up and stretch here in Baltimore. The Orioles lead it 11 to 4. Second and third, one out, we score once. The fuck? Oh. Sandoval, you fat cow. We olayed it to left field. Throwing fucking off speed pitches, man. Swing and a rocket to third. On the first, and he's squeezing through the eighth here with two quick outs. Pablo Sandoval will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. First offering on the way. Fastball right back to the mound. He will flip it on the first and with it, that ends the inning. Down in order, go the Red Sox. They'll need to pick it up. It's 11 to 4. Well, it looks like I'll have one last shot for Swihart to extend his inning streak. 
in the ninth, but this has just been one depressing, depressing fucking baseball game. Pitch. He waits the 0 1. And he misses with it 1 and 1. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. And we're going to have a quick stoppage here as a beach ball has made its way into right field. The 1 2. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Well, there's no doubt that for a young reliever, he's got to swing and miss stuff. He just ran up on that fastball. He's a back, straight, good ball through it. He just blows it right by him. Here's the shortstop now, J.J. Hardy. And this will be fouled away. And the pitch. All right, I'm down seven runs. Let's see if I can miraculously come back somehow, which I. It'll be the biggest comeback, I think, in the history of my video game life. I don't remember anything as close to this. Oh, guys, oh, this fucker. I'm done. I cannot hit sidearm pitchers to save my life. Darren O'Day is one of those guys. He's a sidearm thrower. I am fucked. I am fucked. 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 I'm so fucked. The slider, sidearm sliders and shit. Here we go. And we kick off All right, so I already got one last at bat, you asshole. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, hit parade. Because I'm getting destroyed 11 to 4. The first pitch to it. And the middle infield. Oh, Swihart's done. 27 games. Ugh. That's the end of that fucking ass raping.
Well, thanks for watching that piece of shit game. If you guys are even watching any of these games, I guarantee you you're laughing. Uh, you know, because I got the I got the I got an ass raping of a lifetime here. Let's go to the box score, okay? Let's talk about how awful I did. Betts two for four, Rutledge zero for two, Holt one for two with an RBI, Bogarts zero for four, Ortiz two for four with an RBI, Shaw one for four with a strikeout. He, um, uh, Sandoval 1 for 4 with an RBI, Castillo 2 for 4, Swyart 0 for 4, broke his hitting streak, Bradley 2 for 4. Now let's look at the fucking uh, Red Sox fucking uh, Bogarts that had his ninth error and Bradley Jr. is second. Eduardo Rodriguez, 3 innings, 8 hits, 6 runs, 5 of them earned with a strikeout. His ERA went up to 2.28. Hembry, an inning, 5 hits, 4 runs, 4 earned, 1 strikeout, ERA 5.14. Barnes, two-thirds of an inning, two hits, one run, one walk, two strikeouts, ERA 4.03. Ryan Cook, two-thirds of an inning with a strikeout, ERA went down to nine. And Machi, two-thirds of an inning, a strikeout, 2.75. And Ramirez, two innings with a hit and two strikeouts. Now let's go to the Orioles. Let's see what damage they did to me. Okay. Gerardo Parra, two for five, run scored. Uh, Machado, two for four, two runs scored. Jones, two for five with a run scored and an RBI. Davis, Two for four, two runs scored, six RBIs, walk a strikeout, two three-run homers. Pierce, 0 for five with two strikeouts. Weeders, two for five, two runs scored, an RBI, two strikeouts. Shoop, didn't even play. Hardy, three for five, two runs scored with an RBI. Joseph, two for four with an RBI. Paredes, one for four, runs scored, RBI. Kevin Gaussman, eight innings, 11 hits, four runs, two strikeouts, ERA 4.10. Thanks for watching this piece of shit. We'll see you next time here on MLB.